Hello, fourth and fifth grade. Mr. Steve here. I miss you all so much, but I am so excited that you are joining us again this weekend online. We are still following our leaders' recommendations to stay home to avoid passing around those yucky germs. Hopefully, we will get to meet again soon. Luckily, even though we are at home, we can still follow and tell others about Jesus. Can you do that? If your answer was yes, then have a seat and settle in for our Bible lesson today. I know you're going to love it. handle getting hurt. I'm not talking about a skinned knee or a cut lip. I'm talking about wounds that dig deeper than that. Someone calls you a name. Your little sister takes your skateboard and wrecks it. Your favorite coach cuts you from the team. Your parents promised you a special trip, but can't afford it now. Your so-called best friend doesn't invite you to their birthday party. You start to feel like a mess inside, murky and mad and, and hopeless. You can't stop thinking about it, about what they did to you and how they should pay. But there's only one way to shine a light in the darkness. When you forgive, you decide the other person doesn't have to pay. You choose to let God take care of it. You say, what you did to me doesn't control me. You free yourself from bitterness you even give the other person a chance to change. But you don't have to forgive on your own. In fact, you can't. True forgiveness comes from God. He's the one who forgives us of all the wrong things we've ever done. And it's only with His help that we can truly forgive those who hurt us. Then we can say, in your love, I'm free. In your love, I'm forgiven. When you live out forgiveness, Others can see God at work in you. And that's why forgiveness is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. You are above every other. Your love amazes me. You created every beautiful color for everyone to see. I want the world to know. I want my life to show just what your love has done for me.
need to be careful of that stuff, all right? I am being careful. See, look, I have gloves. Do you have gloves? Wear your gloves. I've got gloves. Okay, but you're not wearing the gloves. You say potato, I say whatever. Okay, uh, seriously though, the glue in your hand, it sticks to anything instantly. Oh, so I know, really... trust me. I, I, I will never forget the cat incident. Oh, I don't think the cat will either. It's fur will grow back eventually, okay? Okay. Now here, hold these. Okay, why? Because. Good answer. Now. Ha! <laughs> uh -huh. Why, why? See, look. Because their hair, it's so soft, feel it. Oh, mm. Super right? soft, yeah. Oh, sorry. Here, let me get that. No, I got it. Don't worry about it. All right. Wait, you're. Uh, <laughs> you know what? There is no problem. I'm just gonna pull it off like this. Here we go. And one. You're. Uh, huh. Don't worry. Not an issue. I got some. Oh, I got some glue remover down here. I'm just gonna go okay. grab. Bread it. Bread it. <laughs> a little help. Bread it. Yeah, yeah. Just a second. Hey. Where, where are you going? Brad, 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 where are you going? Can help me? Ooh, what is that? Can that get me out? What is, no, no, no. I'll help you after this. No. Smile. I don't understand. How is it that complicated? Look, just because it's your way doesn't mean it has to be my way. But That's all I'm saying. But it's not my way. It is. There's a right and a wrong way to do things, and clearly a you're right on the wrong, wrong side way. of the That's road, like mister. There's a right and a wrong way to tie your shoes. There is a right way and a wrong way to tie your if shoes. If your shoes are tied, it's the right way. Hey, guys, uh, we're rolling. Welcome, Welcome to, to the So-and-So so Show. I'm Brandon. And I'm Lawson. And, and we're, we're glad you decided, decided to watch today. today. We have an exciting show lined up, isn't that right, Lawson? That's right, Brandon, so exciting! You're not gonna let this go, are you? I don't have the slightest idea what you're talking about. Oh, really? Yeah. Fine! Fine! As we continue to talk about forgiveness this month, I wanted to- I want you to admit that you're wrong! See, I knew you weren't gonna let this go! You're being ridiculous! I'm being ridiculous? Why don't you let them decide who's being ridiculous? Oh, they're just gonna agree with me. We'll see about that! Huh. Breaking news, Brandon, current co-host of The So-and-So Show, has been identified as a non-toilet paper replacer. Hey! Though some of his fans will be shocked by this incendiary information, Brandon has been a longtime follower of the belief that placing a new roll on the sink is good enough. We can also exclusively reveal that on the rare occasion when he actually does replace the toilet paper, Brandon places the paper with the end going underneath. I understand that these accusations against the longtime host of the So and So Show will cause some to wonder if they truly knew Brandon at all. This has been a breaking news report. Thanks for watching. Now back to your normally scheduled program, already in progress. Really? You asked for it. Okay, you're right, Lawson. You're right. I am? Yeah, I should have replaced the toilet paper after it was used up. That's the courteous thing to do. Thank you. And you know what? I forgive you for being so uncourteous. Thank you. But what about that other thing? I will not apologize for how I install the toilet paper. There's not the there's no right or wrong way to hang the toilet paper. Au contraire, mon frere. There isn't. I, and I'll prove it to you. What do you Brandon, what's this? It's another way to hang toilet paper. Oh. It's also a game. Ooh. All right, so in our hands we have a bunch of rubber bands. Yes. Right, and, and what we're gonna do is we're going to shoot the rubber bands at the toilet paper, trying to rip it at the seams. The first okay. one of us who can make two aluminum cans drop to the ground wins the game, all right? Mm -hmm. And we gotta do it blindfolded. Is that okay Ooh. with you? Yeah, actually it sounds fun. All right. Blindfolds on. Okay, ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Anything? Ow! I heard something. It was me. Oh, that was a little far off. 
hell? It hits, it hits your finger on the, on the point of exit. Do you not know how to shoot a rubber band? I skipped this part of my childhood. I went straight to division. Ow! I heard a can. Did it not fall? Woo! Woo! Wait, I need more rubber band. Is that, is that, two, that's just one, that's just one. Oops. Sorry, cameraman. How am I not hitting anything? It's like you've never done this before. Booyah! What? How did I not hit anything? Woohoo! Well, that was actually fun. <laughs> it's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys. Hi Kellen. You seem to be in a good mood. I know, isn't it crazy? What story do you have for us today? Okay, so last time I told you the first part of Jesus' parable of the prodigal son. Remember this? Previously on My Two Sons. Father, I want my inheritance. Oh? How much of it? Wait, let me think. Oh, that's right. All of it. Better not be in that slop. That's high quality slop. Feed the pigs. My son was dead. But he is alive again. He was lost. But now he is found. You remember that? Sort of. It's mostly familiar. Great. Jesus told the story of a father who had two sons. The younger son left and wasted his share of his father's money. The older son stayed home. When the younger son returned home, the father forgave him. And that's where we pick up our story. I can't wait. Cool. Now here's part two of My Two Sons. As time moves on, so do the lives of my two sons. Where are you going with all that food? Your younger brother has come home. Your father is throwing a welcome home party in his honor. <laughs> He's what? As you can tell, the older brother was not thrilled. He refused to attend the party, so his father went to find him. Why are you not at the party? Hmm. Why am I not at the party? Why am I not at the party? Well, let me think. All these years, I have worked like a slave for you, and I have done this and I have done that, and you haven't so much as thrown me and my friends a tea party. You know, Dad, me and my friends, we like parties too. My son, you are always with me. <sighs> but then my little brother leaves and he throws all your money away and he comes back and you give him a full-blown carnival. <laughs> my son, my son, my son, everything I have is yours, but don't you see, we had to celebrate his return. <laughs> why, Dad, why, why? This little brother of yours was dead, but now he's alive. He was lost, but now he's found. That's the end? Yeah, 
That's the ending Jesus gave us. Did the older brother forgive his younger brother like his father did? We don't know. I think Jesus told the story that way because he wanted us to put ourselves in the older brother's shoes. Would you be willing to forgive someone even if they may not deserve it? When you forgive, you're like the father in the story and our father in heaven. When you don't, you could be like the older brother and you could miss out on a great party. Are, are you okay? I got left at a party once. My mommy didn't pick me up. It was so scary. <laughs> Soap operas just do this to him. No, it's not that. I just forgive you for not putting the toilet paper on. Oh. And I I forgive you for yelling at me for not putting the toilet paper on. Um, I'll just see you guys next time then. <laughs> Bye, Kelly. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> I have no toilet paper. Look at it. Thank you. <laughs> Reveal the. <laughs> Reveal the question. Reveal the question. Do the thing. What do you lose if you don't forgive? You can lose so much. Friendships, joy. I would have missed out on your awesome toilet paper game, Brandon, so thank you. You are welcome. I'm, I'm glad you're starting to rethink the whole toilet paper has to go over the top thing. Uh, no, I, I still disagree with you on that one, but we can disagree and still be friends, right? Absolutely. And besides, I thought of an even better way to install toilet paper. Ooh, do tell. <laughs> wow! Uh -huh. Hey, we'll see you guys next week for a brand new show. Bye, we'll see guys. how this baby works. The room is spinning. Why did I do that? Hey guys, I hope you all enjoyed the lesson today. Don't forget to use the Parent Q app during the week as a resource to help guide you through the curriculum until our next lesson. Also, if you find yourself bored or missing your church family, we have phone calls and FaceTime links available with Miss Jamie on our Facebook page. How cool is that? Well, I hope you all have a great rest of your Sunday. Let's pray it out. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for the boys and girls that were joining us online today. We ask that you just bless this time, bless the time with their families at home, help them to grow their faith with you, Jesus, and just keep them safe and healthy. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.